Hi, I'm Jordan Baker from Sanity Marketing, and today I'm going to be talking about how to choose your headline. And I'm going to tell you via a case study. So last year, we worked with a very lovely restaurant in New York City called Gardenia, and it was gorgeous, gorgeous Mediterranean food. And when I first met with them, I had this idea of a new story. There's an Italian festival that was going on, and alongside the owner, who told me about this Italian festival, we thought, well, let's do like a little beach party in the restaurant. So we came up with this press release, and the whole concept was, the whole headline was, and I read it here, a West West Village restaurant to be transformed into a beach to celebrate Italian festival. And I thought, oh, they'll love that. You know, we'll put some sand on the floor, you know, we'll have a little paddling pool in the corner, and we'll make a whole new story around the idea of turning a restaurant into a beach resort. So we were very excited about it. We sent it out, and uh, nothing, absolutely nothing. It was, uh, it, it was very sad, very upset about it. So, you know, we always like to try things. I, I always say, I might be a fairy, but I ain't magic. You know, let's try something new. So what we then did is we took the press release and we turned it on its head. We tweaked the headline and the, you know, a little bit of the focus, um, but it was fundamentally the same press release. We were doing an event and we just wanted publicity. So we changed it. Once again, I read it here. First New York City restaurant to have beachwear only dress code. So we sent that out and, you know, obviously the beachwear uh, only dress code was, uh, was optional. So a little bit of a fib there, but don't tell anybody. So we sent that out. Out. and actually you know we did incredibly well from that so we got three massive articles we got time out New York which is ginormous so important for selling tickets to events we got the Metro US as well and we also got the New York Post which is very exciting oh and fourthly I've almost forgotten we also got New York Eater so four massive massive publications wrote about us all the tickets were sold out um, and it was a fabulous success and all we did was change probably about 20 words in, a, in, a, in an A4 press release and that just goes to show you the power of the headline and how important that is so you know that do think about that when writing press releases do really focus on that headline and equally always focus on putting that headline in the subject box when you're sending it out to, to journalists um, and then the the rest of the press release then can just hang off of that headline so obviously then use the, you know the next paragraph to explain the headline and so on and so forth so fundamentally really focus on that headline I hope that's helpful